have missed our Thursday live, Phil and I can hear your voice in my ears. I did not do anything wrong. I went on chocolate paint and I said, share a life. And that's what I did. And guess what? It posted the life on our Choco Creations Facebook group. You remember that group that was hacked? So I also think, you know, things happen for a reason. And if you have missed this afternoon's Thursday Live and the announcement of the secret that we have up our sleeves that we want to share with you, please go follow the link that we've recently shared. So just go to the post before this one and you will find it. But I also then want to use this opportunity to share a very amazing story with you all. So two weeks ago, I was in Cape Town for a business trip. And on my way back from the airport, so I arrived the Friday, I'm on my way back home, and I'm very excited to see Kaylee because I literally just saw her for a day and then I had to leave for a Joburg trip. I received phone calls from everyone in the creative department. But on the way between the airport and where we live, there are roadworks, there's no shoulder to pull over and to stop and just quietly listen to what everyone wants to say. So I'm on Bluetooth and first it's Lee. And Lee says, we have the Facebook group back. And I said, what do you mean? She's, and she says, go look at your notifications. You need to accept the admin and request. And I said, I can't, I can't stop. I can't pull over on a shoulder. I now need to travel for an hour to reach my home. The next moment it's Crystal. I need to look at my notifications. And then I see that Wesley is posting WhatsApp messages and Michelle is there. So guess what everyone? We have our Choco Paint Facebook Creations Group back. And that's where our Thursday Live went to sit this afternoon. I've never posted a live on that group before. And I followed the procedures as I usually do. But listen up to this story, how it all happened. So we tried to make connection with Facebook's Meta Group, which till today hasn't helped us to solve the problem, although they listened and they tried, but the, the issue wasn't resolved. But then we saw a profile of a lady that currently was admin of the group, which was a Chinese lady. Um, and we made contact with her in Shanghai, in China. We found her details on Instagram. So with language barriers, I tried to explain to her in November last year, when we just got hacked, that we want to, if she can't help us to get our page back, but her profile was also hatched. So she wasn't the owner of her own personal profile. And then in January, the first, oh no, not in January, first of March, we received the call that that lady, and Cecile is her name, and she's an angel in our lives from China, got her profile back, and she made Nadine Foss admin of the group, of our Facebook page, of our group, not Nadine Foss here. So now the team started sketching around to find Nadine Foss. And another angel now lives in Heidelberg, South Africa, which then was admin of our group. I phoned Nadine Foss the 1st of March, the day that my grandmother mother used to celebrate her birthday, and Nadine Foss helped Nadine Fossler to get the Choco Creations Facebook group back. Since then, we've been busy cleaning out the page, not we, Trish mainly, so thank you Trish for all your hard work behind the scenes, to make sure that all the spam is removed and that everything is kosher on the group. Um, it's still an ongoing process, so we didn't want to announce anything until that was completed. And then this afternoon, my first Thursday Live since then, goes and sits in our Facebook group, and this has never happened before. So people, we now have two Facebook groups. We have a Choco Creations, our old group, where we all mingled and where the most beautiful content sits. The page that nearly gave me a heart attack 
tap and made me three years older than I'm supposed to be tomorrow when it was hacked, we have that amazing group with amazing members back. And we also now have the chocolate tribe. So we will just mingle between both of them. We, just, we decided as a team, we're not going to delete either one of them. Um, so we've shared the link of this afternoon's first day live and we are truly sorry about the inconvenience caused. Not sure if it's caused by the huge internet issue currently in South Africa. Um, we received numerous messages today. In the first day live this afternoon, we upcycled a glass jar to look like this. So our chocolate paint jars we upcycled a candle to look like this. You need to go watch the video. There are so many quirky, creative ideas. And we gave a normal candle a cement look and feel. And I shared the process of us making a light pendant there at the back. And I revealed our surprise. So go follow that link. Welcome back to our group. And may you all have, a listen to my message for the week, the most amazing week. Um, lots of love. Mama Choco Phil, that's it. Sign up. Bye.